All right, everyone. We went thrifting. Not a whole lot of thrifting, though. So let's look at this mini haul. And welcome back. If this is your first time at my channel, I'm Charles. I run a, I run a Poshmark closet on, well, on Poshmark, along with my wife, Angelique. Uh, together, we are the Deegans. Um, our closet's named the Deegans. This channel's named the Deegans. Um, okay. Let's look at this haul. Now, this haul is all jeans. Um, none of it came from Goodwill. Um, it went, came from a local Volunteers of America thrift store that uh, we occasionally go to. Um, they their prices are a bit higher than Goodwills typically are, but the one exception to that is their jeans. Um, every pair of jeans in here was one to two dollars, um, and I believe yeah, one to two dollars um, because the color the color for twenty five percent off was orange, and I know one pair of jeans was orange, but it was a two dollar pair, so still fits in that range. All right, enough of my rambling and babbling and blah, 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 blah. Let's get right into this box. Oh, before I start, I can show off our new inventory system. So what we're doing now, I'm just taking old boxes of stuff that gets shipped to us um, until we get some bins and just having my wife go through, say what's in them and write it on the box. This should make it a lot easier to find than my, uh, my old system, which is group it and remember because we're just getting too much stuff for that to all fit up here. All right, so the first item in this box is a pair of not your daughter's jeans. These are a 16 wide and they are uh, Alina leggings. Um, so I don't know what, I guess that means they're probably a stretchier material. If I could find the, you know, I don't see a materials tag in here, but yeah, it feels like there's some, um, some percentage of spandex in there. Um, either spandex or nylon or one of those stretchy materials. Uh, but they're not your daughter's jeans. That is a very good brand. Not your daughters have done well, very, very good for us. Um, not Your Daughters and one other brand in particular has done very, very good in the jeans category for us. Um, and I have that brand in the box, so a little bit of foreshadowing. Um, but these are a nice, um, a nice wide set of jeans. Um, no, no, um, flaws on the bottom, no, the, no fraying. Uh, near the ankles, no um, no distressing, um, and no um, oh man, and none of none of the lines up by the pockets. Um, I think it was plating. Was that the? T I think that term was plating. It might not be plating. I know my wife mentioned it, and I can't remember what the term is. But there is a term for the lines that appear right by the pockets, and it apparently it makes the jeans sell for a lot less. Um, so I know that's a thing. I just don't remember what the term is. Okay. Up next, we got a pair of American Eagle uh, stretch and let's see. These are a size four. The type is artist. So as you can see, two buttons and distressing all down both legs, but that's the purposeful distressing, not the uh, wear and tear distressing. Um, and like the last pair, um, minimal damage to the heels or the ankles. Um, that's whenever you're looking at jeans, that is an important thing to look for. It looks like they have a staple in them from where the tag was. That's I'll have to remove that before we sell them, but I think they'll do. I think they'll do nicely. Um, you know, we've the American Eagle jeans. We didn't used to get them, but 
we got a couple pairs in a thread up box and they did well so we're starting to maybe look at picking them up again i'm um, just keeping a few pairs in maybe they'll end up being bread and butter all right this next pair of jeans has a story this is the one pair of jeans that was not $2, um, or that the price tag wasn't $2. Um, this pair was only $1. It didn't have a label. So, but I saw the purple. I thought, could this be a pair of not your daughters? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Um, I sent pictures to my wife. She said, maybe. It also missing the, uh, um, missing the materials tag, missing the care tag. So I thought, well, if this is a pair of Not Your Daughters, we could definitely, definitely use those. So I picked them up, put them in my cart, got them home, and my wife looked at them. She said, are they Not Your Daughters? She said, I think they are, I think they are, and then she looked at the button. They're Gloria Vander, Vanderbilt, and her, they're the Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. Not not really a not really a hot brand um, so it was definitely definitely a mistake to pick them up but they were only a buck so um, whatever we sell them at we do have a couple other pairs of Gloria Vander man I always forget I'm just gonna say Gloria Vanderbilt um, we do have a couple more pairs I believe they're the same size as these so we might try to lot a bunch of them together and just see how they do or maybe we'll just redonate them um, so that was disappointing and this is why, this is why I should not be left unsupervised to thrift. Okay, up next we have a pair of cut from the cloth. Um, these are a size 10. And there, again, another pair of jeans in great condition. I think we've only had one other pair of cut from the cloth, and they did sell, so... This could be another really good brand to pick up. Um, I know it is on the list of on the list of brands that my wife always tells me to pick up whenever I go into the thrift stores alone. So another very good pair of jeans. And last we have a pair of Joes. Um, these are a these are a. Uh, women's 27. Uh, it is a honey fit. It is 72% cotton and 28% elastic. Uh, designed in Los Angeles. Dry clean, dry clean recommended. Um, these are, again, another pair of pants that is in really good condition. And, like I said, we had certain brands that have been doing very well for us in jeans, and Joe's is one of those. So, I am sure these, as soon as they as soon as they go up, they are going to fly out of the closet. And that brings us to the end of this haul. Now, I know this is another shorter video. Um, I had a couple, just did a couple of boxes that were um, reseller boxes that only had about five items in them. So those are short. This haul was a quick trip. Um, it's it was from about mid-January when we went on that trip, um, so the, yeah, last weekend. Um, and then people are still getting over some sicknesses, so that's why I ended up going in. And um, yeah, it just wanted to make a quick trip, do a quick video. Um, I do like every pair of jeans we got, with the one exception. I think you can guess it, which one those are. Um, and they were all, they were all two dollars um or they the tags were two dollars i believe it was the cut from the cloth were uh 25 off so they were a buck fifty um anyway um <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway if you liked this video make sure to like share and subscribe all these items will be going in our closet shortly. They may even be in by the time this video goes up, so remember to check that out. Links to everything will be in the description. Um, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.
right, that was another quick little haul. So, um, short video. Have time to watch some more videos. So, right up there. Go ahead and click one. Maybe I'll hit one that's maybe I'll hit one that's five minutes. Maybe I'll hit one that's twenty. It's a game. Not a very good one. All right. Bye. <laughs>